Homelessness is on the rise in the capital city and has been since 2020. With more people living on the streets, the curtain is being pulled back as we're further exposed to what that life really looks like. And people begin to question why is there so much stuff in homeless encampments? To look for answers, 13's Callie Holthouse met with those <laughs> who work closely with unsheltered people in our community. Yeah, Victoria, more and more I see people asking this question of how and why encampments accumulate so much stuff, a lot of which might look like trash to someone not living on the streets. To start chipping away at answers, I sat down with those who work closely with Topeka's Unsheltered. Matt Baldwin, the Director of Outreach Resources for the Breakthrough House, has spent many years working with at-risk people. This isn't a homeless issue. It's a human issue. There's a few different ways to look at why homeless encampments accumulate so many items. Mental health is a major factor. We've all had those times where we struggled to keep our homes clean because of depression or whatever reason. He says hoarding behavior is more prevalent than you might think. According to National Geographic, roughly 1 in 40 Americans struggle with hoarding disorder. I have had many a jobs where I go into other people's homes. And hoarding is a much bigger uh, issue that is much wider spread than people realize. Another explanation is simply normal human behavior without the resources to clean up. And that adds up quick when you aren't able to take your trash out. And so just imagine if you don't even have that trash service at all. And things that may look like trash may not be to someone experiencing homelessness. We're trying to communicate that what appears to be trash to some is really the livelihoods of some of these people. Empty pop bottles become a way to store water, tarps become shelters, and discarded parts can be sold for money. We have some people on the streets that their jobs, they rebuild bicycles. So what people see a whole bunch of trash bike parts, it's because they're refurbishing bikes to then get money to be able to sustain whatever type of life that they need. Baldwin adds that homelessness is traumatic and can completely change a person's perception of the world around them. They just want to adjust to the life that they have and find happiness of where they're at. Information about Topeka's resources for unsheltered people, including how to get involved, is up on our website.